You know, I only know a couple of things, and I've been teaching them over and over again. But since no one seems to get them, that's good for me. So I don't have to learn anything else. But I just try to explain it better. Um, the parapsychology of moving thought forms, that's, that's the game. And Yogi Bhajan put it, the inner vision of the subconscious is difficult to achieve. And you have to get enough energy in your system and vibrate the neurons with enough velocity that you can create a perceptual apparatus where you can start to see the subconscious thought forms that everyone has to deal with. And most people are one thought, it, it, it takes them, they work on one thought and it's associated thought forms for several lifetimes. And nations do it and cultures do it and so on. So it's a, it's a very kind of common thing. But we're trying to give you the experience that you can move these thought forms, you can direct these thought forms, you can remove the thought forms, um, and certainly lessen the broadcast of the thought form, that you, the thought form doesn't need to be screaming at you day and night. You can turn down the volume, dismantle it. But we have to have enough neuron uh, velocity to create the a neuron pattern that such a thing is is conceivable. It's simple enough. So I, I did a some time, years back uh, a cleanse, which many people thought was a joke uh, that I would be leading a cleanse. But I said I went to Taco Bell to you know get the proper vibe. You know, say so Taco Bell before the cleanse, so I could bond with the students. Um, at any rate, I had a little thing, a piece of paper that, you know, your t intention for physical uh, cleansing and healing and mental uh, cleansing and so on, and even subconscious cleansing. And people wrote, you know, I want to try to, you know, strengthen my liver and, you know, this and that. And one lady with a big, thick pen, which maybe she learned from the, the great sage Robert Anton Wilson. Remember when he was describing the, the ley line PowerPoints in, in Europe with the cathedrals and the stone circles and so forth. He said they all connect into a grid that you can get a map and, and perceive it. He says, and, have, and draw lines connecting the holy kind of sacred sites. He says, if, if they don't connect, just get a thicker pen. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady has a kind of Robert Anton Wilson thick pen and scrawls across the little form, I just want to stop thinking about Bob. I think it was Bob. I may, that'd be my subconscious projection. I, I was once on a planet, which I'm recovering from, uh, for some time where everyone was named Bob and I was named Bill. See, so that trauma is part of my subconscious feed that I have to be alert to, okay? So what happens is my, my Bob-ism, right? Because it's, it's in this planet, you put an ism after it, so it becomes like a religion. My Bob-ism is, is some broadcast that's coming from my subconscious, and it has, a, generally speaking, a place on my, I've said it many, many times, on my computer there's a desktop. So you're, where, where, where have you parked your, uh, you know, Google icon? Uh, in my beliefs. No, no you haven't. <laughs> You've parked it somewhere on your desktop because in order to get on the internet you need to click on that and then you go on the internet. So in other words, for me to activate my Bob fear, I, I have to click on the Bob icon somewhere, unless I have it just constantly broadcasted. Oh, uh, well, I have Bob streaming. <laughs> well, turn it off. And remember, I had that lawyer, she was a 50-ish year old, which means she had five decades of accumulated thought forms in this particular body. And I said, you just need to change the channel and get out of the problematic broadcast signal. And she said, I 
went to a lot of courses with you, and I just could not get my mind around that because I have one problem that I've been thinking about for the last six, seven years. I get up, I dream about it, I get up in the morning, and it's all I think about all day long. Meanwhile, she's having a successful career and so on. And I said, do the addiction meditation because she's addicted to the relationship she has with the problematic thought form. Fair enough, right? She just goes to it. Every, it's, it's like her home page, right? Just comes, shows up. So the idea of changing that didn't make any sense to her because the, she was consumed inside its whole world. I never even asked her what the problem was. I said, three minutes addiction meditation. She said, I'll be, I was, a, she told me this some months later. She said, I was like a fanatic, so I did five minutes. And she didn't do anything else. She was not, you know, a big yoga type person. But five minutes of the addiction meditation, she told me after a couple months that it was 11.30 in the morning and she went, oh my God, I've been up since 7 o'clock and I haven't thought about my problem. So that was a, a bolt of lightning kind of enlightened revelation for her because she had actually gone outside her problematic space that had kind of engulfed her and kept her imprisoned for years. So she went back into it, but the fact that she had gotten out to it created then the experience of there being somewhere else to go. So the reason we're doing all these meditations, the reason we're doing all this chanting, all these mudras, and moving the body in certain sequences is to give you the notion that it's a movable structure. You're not stuck with the factory pre-installed, uh, uh, what do you call it, desktop. You can move things around. You can delete things. You can file things away. And you can, you know, you put it on a, on a hard drive and, and put it in a closet. You can get it, you know, if you need it, it you can get it. But it doesn't have to be coming at you. Because if the thought form... If Bob is still broadcasting at me, it does what? Let's go over the basics again. It, it sends a, a kind of command to my crown chakra that it hijacks the crown chakra. Download thoughts about Bob. And then the Bob thoughts stream in and create the Bob feelings, which, as you know, I had some trouble with. Right? So those feelings that are cascading through me and constantly moving through me are all uncomfortable feelings. Those feelings have a magnetic projection, which are bringing me every Bob in the world I've met. Can you believe that? Don't believe it, because it's true. Because that's my experience. And you're going, there's not that many Bobs. Oh, yeah. Right? So I start to enter a complete non-reality, right? Where I'm a, who, who was chased by Bob's down Lincoln Boulevard earlier this afternoon? Am I alone in this problem? Y yes, even you're alone. It's, you and, it's just you and Bob <laughs> chasing you. So the whole world becomes a reflection of this subconscious thought form which has hijacked my crown chakra, which is now downloading Bob, Bob, Bob thoughts. So it's not a belief, it's not a philosophy, it's a phenomenon that is set up because I have a certain channel that I've tuned to. And I need to put mantra, breath, movement, mudra in there, meditation, so I can move the signal somewhere else. Now what, at the end of the day, what is Bob? It's my creative act. I created this fear. I created this drama. I created this whole uh, kind of projection and the thought form that I've been living in. And it's consuming me. Because it's now gotten to the point I can't have anything in my house that begins with B. <laughs> which was which, which helpful because I got rid of all the Bs in the house, which were buzzing around in my head. You're now starting to wonder, does he, does he need medication? Why am I in this guy's class, right? <laughs> and what if my name is Bob? <laughs> he has, obviously has a thing about me. But 
I can move the thought form. That's the whole notion. And, and, and it doesn't need to be outside your awareness. You should be able to sit there in meditation. You're not just sitting there trying to find, there, there is no kind of blissful God sitting out there who's, who's probably named Bob in the, at the, in the end of the day. So you've got to sit here and try, you're crazy trying to find out what thought forms are broadcasting and directing my drama. That's the game. So I put in a mantra there to give me the awareness because the, the crown chakra is constantly producing the thoughts, the thought forms are constantly being fed and I have to navigate through them. And no, and no matter how clear I get, I still got to deal with others who are doing what? Dealing with Bob's sisters, Bob's cousins, Bob's family. I've met those people too. They're usually named Barbara, right? <laughs> But I got to deal with that stuff. So and I got to make sure my magnetic Bob is not, you know, hooking up with my, her magnetic Barbara and we're ending up in some you know, completely, what's, what's the, I don't want to use the word, but it begins with B. It's a BS, bull, a belief system. I don't want to end up in a land where we're dominated by these thought forms. So I've got the mantra, I've got the pranayam, I've got the movement so I can steer the thing. Fair enough? All right, this is all I'm explaining the rest of my life. So if you don't understand now, don't worry.